Now, storm tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. Snowing right now. Let me show you where it looks like it's trying to snow around Pocatello. I think the mountains bench areas getting some light snow, maybe some rain mixed in as greens popping up on the radar. And then we got snow showers showing up on the radar around Lava Hot Springs, Fish Creek Summit down into Grace, of course, Soda Springs, some snow showers too around Georgetown. Maybe a little bit of snow trying to fall just to the northeast of St. Anthony around Ashton. That's kind of round one, very weak round, and we have round two that will move in later tonight. Here's the main part of a front, but moisture behind that could punch into the Snake River Plain. So, yeah, our chance of snow, we get two chances. One's pretty much done. That's our next chance late tonight, early tomorrow morning, and then we're done. For the weekend at least with some clouds around especially tomorrow morning and then we'll get some sunshine we're above freezing in both pocatello and idle falls or i should say pocatello and blackfoot right now idle falls would like to be above freezing they are at 22 degrees awfully cold already in island park only nine only one in jackson 13 though up in yellowstone warmer there and temperatures over in that burley at 38 degrees stanley also at 38 degrees tonight, Stanley won't stay 39, 38 all night long. We're looking at a low of about 16. Burley around 29. Pocatello will see a low temperature of 23. 10 degrees colder overnight in Rexburg with a low of 13. We'll drop down to about 5 in Island Park. And again, there's that chance of snow showers that will continue all night long, kind of off and on. We'll get another chance or two before the morning starts to roll in. Now tomorrow... Of course, clouds around, but I think generally speaking, dry, at least in the Snake River Plain. There is a chance of snow up around Island Park, Yellowstone, Driggs, the Tetons, Jackson, and maybe as far south as Afton. But for the rest of us, we'll take the warmer temperatures, slightly warmer. In fact, a lot of us will actually get above freezing. Pocatello, again above freezing at 37. Look at those 40s. Yeah, envious of those 40s over in Burley and Twin Falls. Of course, we got some of that headed for Pocatello on Sunday. And Sunday, we're looking at high right at 40 in the Gate City. Lots of sunshine. Monday, mostly cloudy. 38. A couple more 40s waiting for us next Wednesday and Thursday. And the way it stands now, dry for the next seven days after tonight. There's still a chance Gate City in town could at least get some snow. We'll see how that pans out. Idle Falls, high temperatures, finally above freezing Sunday. We're not there long, though. Back in the icebox, Rexburg, partly sunny and above freezing for highs all afternoon or all weekend, I should say. And then back into the icebox briefly on Monday. Teton area, there's that chance of snow for tomorrow. We're dry Sunday and Monday. Chance of snow on Tuesday, but look at those highs and look at the lows. We'll actually stay out of the single digits. No below zero weather, at least after tonight. Central Mountains, partly sunny for tomorrow, mostly sunny for your Sunday, and then mostly cloudy for Monday. And those clouds could linger enough on Tuesday. We could see some snow, but yeah, don't hold your breath. <laughs>